Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the March and April monthly recap for 2019. My name is Dr. Fish, and this is Wavery 64. <clears throat> so, March was a rather uneventful month, so I decided to group March and April together. These first three runs you're going to see are both from March. This one coming in the middle of March on... Um, March 17th from a new player named Mr. Pitchy who made his debut on the wave race scene with a, with a benchmark and he did it with Drake Lake Reverse 111. So let's go ahead and watch this video. <clears throat> okay. So let's go ahead and watch this. Now, I was very fascinated to see someone come in and get, not necessarily a difficult benchmark, but get, get one, get a, as their first benchmark be a reverse course is pretty interesting. Ooh. Okay, so that was a miss pull on when it started. He does have an unrecorded 111.838, but he did manage to get this recorded one. And so that's what stands on the site. So uh, I fully expect that one day we'll get a video of a better time. Because 838 is a very good time as well. Drake Lake Reverse is, is a very... It's becoming more and more uh, played. And is getting more 111s. It's becoming much more competitive. And it's really getting up there. It's getting towards the, one, the 110 mark. Uh, as a seen as being possible, um, I, I would think there's some players who probably already think it's possible, and I don't blame them. Very nice second lap. So uh, this is pretty much looks like a basic mold for what a one eleven would look like. A little bit of a wide slalom, but a hey, so gets the time. Which is overall very nice. <clears throat> Straightening out, getting a couple, getting at least that one frame there. Though twenty three one, a very nice ending lap. So there's Mr. Pitchy's f uh, first benchmark. I believe it's his first submitted time. Our new player from our new friend from the United Kingdom. Welcome to the community. <clears throat> and he pops in with a top ten time. I expect that we will see great. We will see much. Uh, as he plays along, we'll see times just like this. He, I feel like you're, he's going to be a very good player. And next, we're going to go and switch over, and we're going to watch a video from Quick Persons IND, who came in with this PB on Drake Lake, which is a one eleven. It's a one eleven seven three, I believe. Yeah, indeed. It's cool to have players from all different uh, countries coming and playing this game. Because um, the majority of the players that we have right now are from the United States. So to see someone from the UK come in and make a splash, I hope that we can get the representation there. We have had people from the UK submit in the past. Nothing special. I think the cool thing about this run is he fell behind. Like, he was in the positives for splits after the first lap and then spoiler he's also in the negative after the third lap after this lap he's a little behind he's not he has a much i think he had a much better first lap or a much better second lap than he did in his actual current pb but it's pretty good yeah, we do have Andy Panther from, from Switzerland, and he's also, um, he plays a bunch of different racing games. Hey, what's up, Immortal? Small PB. Yeah, we have quite a bit of uh, European. It's actually a 7.63. My apologies. I thought I was going to say 7.36. I wasn't 100% confident on that. But, yeah, congratulations. Some great, a great time by Quick Persons. And whenever Quick comes back, he, he always does great. And so I, I expect when he comes back, he will have uh, 
uh, more great times. <clears throat> and back, we have another run by Mr. Pidgey. Mr. Pidgey coming out, and he's going to Drake Lake, which is definitely a good course. I believe it's a good course to start on. I think that you can learn a lot about the basics of Wave Race and the basics of like speed running wave race and getting a feel for the controller just by playing uh, the course Drake Lake because there's no waves, um, so you're really just you're really just focused on going fast and, and taking very taking correct uh, correct passing lines and doing it very smoothly. So to see Mr. Pitchy have these times already shows that he's a very smooth player, and that will really help him going forward into other courses because being a smooth player, as we know from people like Ilu, and people like um, people like Ilu, people like Mo, uh, very smooth players, and so for him to have for P Mr. Pitchy to have both Drake Lake, three and reverse benchmark, three lap and bench uh, reverse benchmarks is a symbol that he's a decently smooth player. He does a good job of keeping his speed here. This is the one, this is a one eleven eight eight one. He achieved this on the twenty third of March. Um, I believe Quick Persons got his in the middle of the month as well. This is towards the end of the month, and we have. Um, I think this is the last. This is like the last ILPB that we have in this month. Um, there's quite a lot in April to go over. So and so. We'll go right into that after this, and then we'll go back and we'll mention the last month's worth of, um, like the last month worth of RTA. We'll look at both months at the end of, uh, the end of all the videos, as I always do. We'll highlight the really great RTA times, the, all the full-time championship runs that we have for the last two months have been pretty crazy. Um, and, and I'll make sure to mention every player and all their great times. So also congratulations to Mr. Pitchy on this uh, Drake Lake PB. Looking forward to seeing more, like I said, prior from him. And next up, we're going to move into April. And early in April, we had Dr. Fish coming in strong, coming out with Glacier Coast, a time that, or a course that he has had struggles on for a while he last pb'd in he he last pb'd this course prior to this uh, right after olympics um with the 116973 on the screen he came back Gosh, he so came tricky. out in april after taking a break in the month of march we did not see a single ilpb from him um we did see one rta pb that will be mentioned at the end but here we go we have uh dr fish's 1166 Four, eight, uh, moving up a couple spots in the on the leaderboard with this run. <clears throat> so it's a pretty smooth play, coming out with a 26-6 lap, um, which honestly is, um, which if he play if he plays the rest of it very very well, can actually be 115 pace. Um, but obviously with that. But obviously this is a 116 run, so there is no 115. Um, but pretty smooth play, getting underneath the buoy. He got very fortunate because that buoy, as you saw, was popping up, and so he was able to um, use the buoy going up to go underneath it. And here, very nice ice turn on lap three. Lap one, nice ice turn. Lap two, bit of a rough time, and we see, and you see that reflected in the actual like time. He got a 25-2 lap. Then here, a very nice lap. It's oh, yes, speed. baby. Let's go. 24. Uh, yes, six six lap yes, one, yes. To get yes, that one, 16, yes. 6, 4, 8. Oh. So congratulations, Dr. Fish, on that. But he would not stop. Dr. Fish would not stop this month. Um, April, is a, April is a pretty big month for Dr. Fish. Um, you're going to see runs from him come up over and over again. We have this run... Um, which is quite incredible. It's second place on Sunset Bay with a 105-117, closing in on the world record. <clears throat> so, let's take a look at this run. Fisha was de-rusting Sunset Bay, just getting back into the course. 
he got a, that 319 um, prior previously in the stream because uh, his 219 time got deleted when he accidentally hard reset his cons hard reset his data in the console or uh, hard reset the cartridge I should say <clears throat> where all the data went away including the including any uh, PB times and the course unlocks uh, so here we go nice six six seven laps to start and that you can see just how fast that section was. He did not have much bounce at all from there. So this is a huge split. This is a 21-4-6-3. And I can imagine the heart block. I, I know it is, obviously. I know what this is like. The, um, my heart was, was pounding so fast at this point. I just wanted to finish the just wanted to finish the run and get a good time. And did not quite realize what I was getting myself into where I... Got a 19987 last lap. That oh, second on that Sunset was... Bay. Yes. Dr. Fish's um, best forward performance on course uh, in his career. The 105 117. Congratulations. But then this happens. This, so this happened on the fourth, that happened on the second. And now we have the Drake Lake reverse world record that he achieved the first ever 111.2 on Drake Lake reverse. <clears throat> Again, I actually I, I was playing this course and I was uh, looking to improve on my 111.490, which I had been hoarding for quite some time for uh, Kapot for. Um, Kapod uh, 3, however, this happened, and maybe I should have kept the time, but I felt that um, it was something that I, I should let, that I, I just didn't want to hide. I didn't want to hide the world record. Um, so, here we are. We got the first ever 111.2. Starts out with a 25-3 lap, which, if you think about it, the rest of, the rest of this run has to be extremely good. For uh, to actually achieve the to actually achieve the world the world record is one eleven three one one at this point, um, and after these two splits after this split I uh, I was convinced that this was a dead run because this run is a PB from a four nine zero it is definitely a PB from a four nine zero but it, it wasn't even guaranteed that until that happened until that buoy hop then. With that very smooth, um, with that very smooth slalom into the buoy hop, um, it, it just made that completely possible for me to almost get almost get a twenty two eight. Um, I, and I I believe that a twenty two eight lap might be needed for a one ten. We might need to see a twenty two eight lap. Um, Especially because not everything's gonna line up perfectly, and if you do get a perfect run, that's amazing. Um, so congratulations on on the amazing two times, the 105.117 and the world record on Drake Lake 111.298. Next, we have a run from Mr. My oh My Pancakes, who has been so gracious for this for this year. To be making slideshows for me, I mentioned it in my January and February recap, but I will mention it every single month that he does this. Thank you so much for doing this for me. You, you, like it helps me out so much that I have that you keep the track of these PBs when they come in. Um, so thank you very much, bud. I appreciate it immensely. So here we have pancakes on Glacier Coast. You can see he's creeping up. He's creeping towards the 116 in the PB. However, this is a one-lap video. This is Glacier Coast 24585 inching towards the benchmark. So here we have. <clears throat> here we have after 27 laps. So this is actually done on a normal run. This is not done. Like I was using. Like you'll see later, um, there's one more Glacier Coast lap video that I show. But I had been, but this whole month I had been using the actual um, lap setup for this. I wouldn't be surprised if this is the lap that he gets it. This is very, very good. It is. So he got it. 
He didn't even do the normal setup. He did, um... That's nutty. By the way. What he did. That's... He didn't even do... He didn't skip the second buoy at all. Um... However, that turn there wasn't super optimal. However, he still was on 116 pace. Oh! Yeah, the buoy bump. Unfortunate. But great... But great lap for Pancakes. Congratulations. Getting into the top 10 on Glacier Coast one laps. Uh, getting... He, I think I think that it's just him, his lap and then the benchmarks after that. So, I think... I have no doubt Pancakes will join those who have the benchmarks soon. And speaking of benchmarks... We have a new Southern Island benchmark achiever. That's as money. So, as money I know has had this 115-0. That as money had this 115, probably for a while, like so a close time like this. I, I also similarly had a uh, time like this before I actually got my 114. As money achieved this, as you see, he achieved this much earlier. He achieved this on the first of the year. However, he was keeping it for Kapod, and and he decided to give it up, and or he decided to um let people see it. The video we have the 114.913 from As Money. So congratulations on this benchmark. Let's take a look at this run. Wow. So As Money's in chat. He tells me that he thinks he sat around this time for about a year, which makes a lot of sense. And I know you've done so much in, in this last year, like, like since I, because I know you weren't really playing a lot when I joined, but just like in the last months since the uh, last since the summer rankings you've done a lot buddy so i love seeing how much you can how much all these players all of the players have improved nice 24 8 lap to start <clears throat> oh very nice i like that you got a lot of speed into that Ooh, yeah buoy bump that that happens <clears throat> But I can see, like, you, that run, if you had not really hit that buoy very much, you would have been in prime shape to get even, like, maybe a lower one. But, like, a negative zero, a negative, um, 0 0.2 split. But on, on this course, it's very deceiving. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, one thing I noticed is that this run was definitely, like, I could tell that was 115 pace, just based, or 114 pace based off of that. So, yeah. Congratulations, man. This is a huge time. You, you almost beat it. You almost beat that wave, um, which would have made it a little better. But, man, congratulations. 26-4 lap to end. You almost benchmark lapped, honestly. Like, look at that. 23-5 second lap was incredible. Congratulations, Asmani. <clears throat> On your 114, you have a ch for another one, another, um three lap benchmark and next i want to show bert a bert run he has the sunny beach 104 222 um bert is a is more known as a 1080 snowboarding runner uh he is the champion of that game he is an incredible speed runner and he's come into wave race and made made lots of of waves obviously but just in this game he's done very very well for himself so we have our friend from scotland coming in with a time that's getting him closer and closer to the sunny beach 103 so see how this run goes Ooh, that's a little bit i i want i don't know if that i think that was on my end of the video honestly I think my end skipped a little bit. I don't think the video did because I watched this on. Um, I watched this because I verified it, and it was very smooth when I was watching it. Uh, I think maybe I'm just having a little bit of video playback issue here. <clears throat> but anyway, 22-9, good lap. He's actually that's actually like like bare minimum for what would be uh, 103 pace. So let's see here. Okay, at 20.7. So he has a pretty good last lap here, honestly. Very consistent. Very consistent from Bert. He got a very good... Uh, 
He has some very good turns here. Every single one of those is very good. Ends with a 20.5, almost benchmark lap. He does already, he does already have the benchmark lap. So he's just gonna, he's just going for that next benchmark. So congratulations, Bert, on your 104.222. Looking forward to seeing more of what you can do in the future. And next, we're gonna go to, we're gonna go back to a pancakes time. Pancakes playing Port Blue and getting the 119.505. A very solid standard time. Port Blue is a difficult course for those who, who don't know much about Waver 64. It's done with a character called Miles named Miles Jetter, the character here that you're going to see in this run. And he has a much more looser handling than Mariner. Mariner has a pretty tight handling, honestly. But Jetter has very um loose has looser handling in. So you're going to see that in this video from Pancakes. Couple of miss, couple of missing max powers that happens quite a lot. Max power it being the, a frame perfect trick technically, even though it's, you know, it's pretty easy to time. It's still like there's only one frame where we can get max per max power. Um, so very nice start for pancakes. <clears throat> I like this opening. I like this opening lap so far. Oh yeah, yeah. This, this is really nice. It's a little slow, but I mean, twenty-seven six is a very good is a very good starting lap. Like I wouldn't like technically he's still on pace if he has a couple good if he had two other great laps he's on pace for one eighteen. Um, so I think pancakes is it can get I think pancakes can get to one eighteen. He's definitely a very good player, so I I believe pancakes is very capable of. 118. <clears throat> so he's just a little behind the cycle there because of the two times he got. Because of the 25 9 lap, he's a bit behind. This is still a pretty good lap, honestly. Um, wow, very nice. I think. Hmm. So. I, I, I will say that was a good run. But I believe if you just straighten that out, buddy, I think that's a better time. So I would just keep that in mind. But all, overall, great. And I can see the potential for the 118. I see the 118. You got this, bud. Keep going. Congratulations on your Port Blue PB. We're going to show another Pancakes time. He actually came out, with a, he came out with a couple of times towards the end of the month. As well as As Money. Uh, and so we have Pancakes getting... A 105.822 here on um, here on Sunny on uh, sorry Sunset Bay in RTA, which will one of the first times I'm showing actually a run that comes actually from RTA. Sunset Bay is not a very difficult course in RTA. Um, the cycle's a little different, but it's not doesn't make it any more difficult. It's actually. In some regards, it might actually be a little easier, but let's just see how Pancakes does here. So, very nice first lap so far. Shapes up to be a 23, 846. Very nice, very nice. Oh, rides that wave beautifully. Yes, take advantage of that wave there. That wave will keep you from hitting the sand, which gives you a better opportunity on this lap, which that's very fast. Um, so, let's see what, what type of time he has after this lap. I actually think this is very fast. So, 0.7. Okay. Um, so, P Pancakes has some real potential to get some good time on Sunset Bay. Um, just just doing really good. Very good time. The 0.8... The 105822 uh, is a very good time. Honestly. Um, and, and it's so cool that it's a PB for him. Um, a recorded PB, I believe he has a, a point, it looked like he had a point seven on, in his, um, it actually l looked like he had a point seven. Um, yeah, cause you have that. Cause he actually got second place there, but it's his recorded PB, so congratulations, Pancakes. 
uh, on an excellent Sunset Bay time, and I believe, and I can see the, in uh, in every single player I I've watched, I see so much potential to to get much better times on the course as they're playing, and I'm so excited about that. I'm looking forward to see what to what we're gonna get in the future, going into this month and next month, and so on and so forth. And so I want to close out with a couple of videos from Doctor Fish. Um, towards the end of the month, he got he came back to playing and he really and, and he actually improved uh, uh, he improved on his 105 on some sunny beach reverse so he has the 105 923 now which came out of nowhere really I, had I, I mean I was courses, he was just though. like I was playing um, I, I was practicing sunny beach and I decided I wanted to play both sunny beaches so I went and played reverse and this happened. Um, so I actually managed to also achieve a second, a third 105 in this in this session. But this time is just really good. I really really like this run. Um, I'm only a little ahead after that lap. I had a one. I had a 23.5 in my previous PB. But I can just. But that whole section was very fast. This turn was very good. Um. So overall, like the getting a twenty one point one five, like pretty much still on pace to be ahead and get a PB, getting down, getting that nice turn. That section was very good. It was very fast. Um, so just finishing out strong. The one thing I think needs to improve is I need to get better at getting one twenty nine laps. <laughs> 129 there. Oh, that was kind of sad. The 999 is no more. on last on the last lap of Sunset Bay of Sunny Beach Reverse, which uh, is a very difficult course, and you often will get those types of paces, and then just you'll lose it on lap three because it's so difficult. To, um, like it's just an overall difficult level because of that. The one wave before the yellow buoy that sticks out in the middle of the lap, <clears throat> and also. Uh, the same or the next day, Doctor Fish went ahead and played Glacier Coast to try and get the lap PB. You can see he's doing. We have uh, doing the setup, which uh, I don't. Sh he doesn't have the full setup in his video, but we do have him gaining the speed to go for the lap, which he does achieve the benchmark lap. In fact, it's exactly the benchmark lap. He achieves the twenty four four nine nine. Um. So we. So he lost a nine nine nine. And was given a 499, which is essentially like getting a benchmark at 999, um, which is quite awesome. So that was, it's a very good lap. There it is. Um, but that's exactly the benchmark. Especially because I know I still struggle. He still struggles with the course quite a bit. So we're gonna uh, just for a bit of time's sake, we're just gonna not show the rest of it. Um, we're gonna move on to our last run, and I I think this run is probably the best PB of the last months of these of the last uh, of this session. I believe this is the best time. Um, maybe that's my own bias, seeing as it's one of my own runs, or maybe it's true. I think it's like. This time was just very, very difficult to get because it, of the difficulty of the course. It's Twilight City. And Dr. Fish achieves his first 124. Not only does he achieve the 124, he gets a 124-420. So, so the 999 was taken away, but we were given a, four, a 420 and a 499. So, this run is crazy good and I'm very excited to share it with you all <clears throat> and just so you guys know I, I believe the my audio at this point is only being picked up by my microphone um the audio I think I had my uh I think I accidentally had my Amarec muted so the volume is just coming through from the mic from my microphone which is pick um picking up the game volume because it does it picks up the game volume 
um, which is why a lot of the videos I have have delayed video. But this first lap being a three nut four six was really good, and some I'm still amazed that that went. And I didn't even take the most optimal line. I was very close to the wall, which caused that, which causes that turn there to be very sharp, and thus lose some time. However, um, this whole time was a good. This whole time really set up um, my next lap. You'll see. We actually have some difficulties here. I actually smacked the wall. I'm very fortunate I didn't lose the run. Um, and then this last time, just perfect, perfect dive, quick dive, no. No issues whatsoever. Um, and so, just, he, just so fast through this section. He breezed through. He barely had any wave issues. Um, in fact, he almost had to push through the first wave. Oh my gosh! 27, 320. Holy, oh, holy shit. God. So... Third place, Twilight City, in the three lap and the and the one lap, on top of already holding the world record. So Doctor Fish just putting up monster times in this last month, um, and that's the that's <clears throat> most of the IL runs for the month. I I pro I I always say most of them because I probably miss stuff. Um, you know, what I want to do now is I want to show the, I want to show the uh, full game runs that happened. Um, so that's good. Um, I want to show the leaderboard. So, in March we had one normal time come through. We had Doctor Fish achieve the 9:25 in championship normal, which is a huge time, and puts him in third place. He got. He got his um, first completed good run with two dives on. Um, includes two dives on Marine Fortress. And just overall very good play. And then I don't believe, I do not believe we had any heart PBs on hard. Because I was looking and I didn't see anything that happened in the time span of April or uh, March. But championship expert, we had a couple of runs. We had Andy Panther get a thirteen twenty seven on championship expert. So congratulations on another top ten um, RTA time. Congratulations, and Doctor Fish achieving the second on the only the second person to get a sub thirteen oh five. And the incredible thing about that run is he at, is that Doctor Fish did not. Did not use the dive on Marine Fortress, and the and the rest and the play on the rest of the courses was solid enough to get him the thirteen oh four. Um, so we, there is possibilities of saving lots of time and and really challenging to get a sub to get a second person to get to the twelve minute mark on uh, expert. And then on reverse we had. Uh, Mile My Pancakes achieve a 1327, claiming third place um, on reverse, which is fantastic. So congratulations to Pancakes. Um, yeah, I want to. I'm gonna just. I want to check one thing really fast. I want to think. I think there was. Yeah, sorry. Um, there's one other time that I didn't mention. And that's Andy Panther getting a 943 on championship normal. So congratulations to Andy Panther on that time. He ties Koiro he ties Koiro Hoshi um, with that. So congratulations to Andy Panther. And last category is all championships and my oh my pancakes achieve a 5231. Getting fourth place, um, passing Hayate and Ilu. Um, this was his first. This is um. This is only the beginning. I know Pancakes is wants. I know Pancakes wants to be the third person, to get fifty one. And I believe that him. I think it's open for him or Metalhead. Honestly, Pancakes is a very good player, and he just needs more. He needs, and he'll just get more reps playing all championships, and he'll get more comfortable 
with the category. Um, it's, it's very difficult, honestly. Um, so congratulations to all the times that everybody achieved this month. Um, and so far in May, I think, so far in May we have pretty good times coming in. We have at least one good time that has come in already. And we will see that when, um, March is over. We are, we are, um, we are very close to the end of the first half ranking period for 2019. Crazy. It's so crazy to think that we have two months of, we have March in June and then we have rankings so I expect to see some people come I expect to see a couple people to come back and put times get some times in and get and really try and secure their spot in the next ranking period um, and I expect those who are already submitting to keep on submitting and to see where they can go <clears throat> and I figured I would end this by showing some statistics for the month I think you guys can see everything that's here. So we have uh, we had 21 individual level PBs and nine RTA PBs this last these last two months. We had one world record achieved, which is Dr. Fish's 111.298 on Drake Lake Reverse. And we had zero RTA world records. Shibby Pod still holds all five of them. Still holds all five. So, and he has for a long time. <laughs> Uh, the person with the most PBs this mo these months was Dr. Fish, who had 10. In April 7th, we saw four PBs come in, which was the most in one day. Um, and so for the track that got the most love, we had Southern Island, who had five PBs. Glacier Coast surprisingly got a lot of love. Glacier Coast had at least three PBs. Uh, Sunset Bay had a Sunset Bay had two PBs. Drake Lake Reverse had two. Drake Lake Three Lap had two. And I should mention also that Quick Persons achieved a 23-101 lap. 23 second, 101 millisecond lap PB. So congratulations on that. Um, and also Port Blue getting some love, which is always nice to see. And so that's going to do it. That's going to do it for this. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> speedrun.com I'm experiencing some, some issues right now I, I, I want to show yes most tracks need love that's true that, but a lot of the tracks didn't get submitted PBs however I did want to show the leaderboards after the last two months the only difference is that Dr. Feast holds the, the Drake Lake reverse world record so he now holds 3 out of 8 reverse world records closing in towards uh, tying Shibby Pod for reverse world records he's very close on a couple of tracks he's very close on sunset bay reverse the most notably so we'll see if anything changes in the next month leading up to ranking period and so thank you all so much for watching as always i have been dr fish you have been awesome and i will see you next month good luck and good wave racing peace